This is the FlyPods review. It's a great sounding, lightweight, true wireless earbuds. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Welcome and welcome back to Gadget Rev Now. The one major thing we consider in buying a wireless earbuds or headphones or just anything in general is great sound. I think majority of the time, aside from calls, we use wireless earbuds for streaming music, podcasts, and watching videos. Before we start, there are a few great things to know about these earbuds. It has a hi-fi stereo sound, which I would say it's really nice. It's a great sounding earbuds. It is also lightweight in design, has touch control similar to the functions you will see on the more expensive true wireless earbuds. It has low latency Bluetooth 5.1 connection that is super reliable, even in gaming and streaming. It has an LED display for charging status and an IPX5 waterproof, great for exercise and sweaty activity. And if you think about it, the price is just a fraction of what those big brands can offer, and this might offer more. For less than $40, and I think they have the discounted price right now, you can have a cheap and great sounding earbuds from Flypods. So today we'll unbox it, review it, and test it in real life. Let's go to work! Let's start with the unboxing. By the way, if you're interested in purchasing this product, I will leave the link in the description below. It is a stealth black colored box with all the specs around it. Let's open the box. Alright, we are greeted by the charging case. Inside are the earbuds. I like the stealth color black. It has a nice matte finish around it. It will not accumulate lots of fingerprint and it is lightweight. Aside from the charging case, we also have the USB-C to USB-A charging cable. It doesn't have a charging block but you can use your own existing charging block and it will work. It also comes with an extra ear tips in different sizes. A warranty card and if you need help you can contact VIP at ourasj.com and lastly the manual it is written in different languages make sure to read it before you start using this product and that's it you have the earbuds the case the cable the ear tips the manual and the warranty card let's pair these earbuds to our smartphone Let's pair these earbuds to our smartphones. So the pairing process is pretty easy and simple. You open the Bluetooth function on your smartphone, take out the earbuds on the charging case, make sure they are fully charged or at least have a charge. On the Bluetooth settings, find FlyPods and connect. The earbuds work separately so you can use them alternately. So next time you take out the earbuds on the case, it will automatically pair your devices. Now let's talk about the features. The HOS FlyPod wireless earbuds is a digital power display. Not only it can display the power of the charging case, but also the power of the single earbuds. So you don't need to guess whether the charging case has enough power, or you don't need to calculate the best charging time. You just need to open the lid and the display will tell you the answer. The next feature is the touch sensor. So the wireless earbuds can adjust the volume by touch. Very convenient for you to use in different occasions. You can use the touch to answer or hang up the phone, play and pause the next song, play the previous or next song, and activate the voice. This wireless earbuds with in-ear design brings you more stereo sound quality. The digital audio processor provides with a deep, clear sound quality, perfect for music video calls, bringing you an immersive sound. You will love it. The next feature is the battery life. According to the manufacturer, a choice, this wireless earbuds can be used for 7 hours in a single use. And the charging case can bring 50 hours of battery life from the earbuds. On my honest personal test, audio around 60-70%. to 70%. It lasted me 3 and a half hours, so it also depends on the loudness. It has a user-friendly design. The earbuds is very light, only 4.2 grams. You won't get tired of wearing them for a long time and you will even ignore them. The earbuds case is also small and light and easy to carry. And lastly, this earbud is IPX5 certified. These wireless earbuds are waterproof, so you don't need to worry about it being damaged by rain or sweat. So let's do a range sound and touch sensor test. So right now, let's start with the range test. So you can see the earbuds and I'm playing a song right now. So I will leave the phone here 
and we will walk outside to see the range of these earbuds. So I can still hear it. And we will go outside. I can still hear it. Wow, pretty good range. And I can still hear it. Okay, so probably around 40 steps. So this is the farthest that I can actually play on earbuds that I've tested so far. So they have a really good range in terms of wireless connectivity. So inside the house, around the vicinity, I don't have any problems with connection. There's no drop in connection. So I'm going upstairs and I can still hear it clearly without any drop in connection. So this earbuds is really good in terms of connection. For the sound test, I can compare this with the Pixel A Buds. And the sound that's coming from these earbuds are more open, like an open stage concert type. Well, for the Flypods, it is more close like a recording studio type music with a bit of bass. And lastly, the touch sensor test. A single press will change the volume up and down. The double press will play and pause. And the long press will take you to the voice commands like for iPhone, it is Siri. Pretty cool. So what is Gadget Revenant's verdict? Is Flypods worth it? Great sounding through wireless earbuds should not be expensive at this point. There are so many good ones with an affordable price. Flypods is one of them and what it brings to the table is a sleek looking pair of earbuds that is lightweight, has digital power display with an excellent sound quality. Yes, it is worth it and for music lovers, you love it. And there you go, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to buy this product, I will leave the link in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.